Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to another tutorial and I code for it. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a chatbot using Python natural language to processing kids. Alright, so in this kind of thing, we are not going to be using um, an if else statement to just say chatbot we can build in just few lines of code. So this is what we're going to be building. So let me open my CMD, then input, um, then go to the directory. Alright, let me move to the directory. All right, so uh, desktop, sorry. All right, so Python um, web here. All right, wait for it to load. All right, I can see when I say my name is Precious. All right, I say I Precious. All right. I like, can uh, give me something like I code in uh, it is form. I see I code in it is form. When I do something like K, which we get something like A all uh, right A dear, you can see we have another option here. When I give something like hello, all right A dear I, sorry that is you see once you input something that is not in the list, it gives you none. All right, so that means the j i wrote there is not founded in what i gave it so i wrote i i can say i there so this is um kind of a very good chatbot not a lot of very intelligent one but we can be able to build a chatbot in just few hours of code all right so we are going to add there by creating new file all right to this file just create a new file and save it i'm just gonna delete this right so delete this all right so the first thing we need to do is import so you can see from ltk and ltk dot start dot utils import charts and comma um, reflection so that was going to work with and next one today is create a variable called ps you can create any variable give it any name so after creating this what i need to do is add a list so i can put a list like this and put uh, my name is precious all right so after writing this then i can add response by saying hi precious hi precious all right you can see this so this is basically what you just say is write the name my name is precious and i and it respond with hi yeah as you can understand there it responds with the name i pressure so basically you can see i have them in one list and i created another list so you don't get everything confused so you have them in a list and inside the list we have another list so in this case i notice that we aren't using any if else statements because i'm pretty sure you will you'll be expecting some if else kind of statements all right after doing this the next we need to do is uh let me do this go down below all right then put create a variable called chart then equals to then the chart that we imported up above there there is a capital letter c chart then inside that i'm gonna give it the ps variable all right so see this the next thing you need to do is that chart the chart variable we create the chart dot com Verse. All right, to so save this now. If I go to terminal and run this, you can see it's asking for inputs now. So when I put uh, my name is precious, now she'll be saying I precious. All right, so that's basically it. Was. What if I try my name is Jack? My, no, uh, my name is Ima. Right, can be saying that we have something called none. That means uh, um, the stuff around here is not found in the chat board I created. So, next we need to do is um, let's create inside the list another list that has the name Ima. So, I'm just gonna go back to the editor, copy this, I'll copy this. Make sure you add a comma in this. All 
grab item now. Right, so if I should run this, go back, exist from here, run it again. My name is Sima. Now you can see we have something like I am, so I'm gonna use this. So instead of us to keep on writing this, we could just write some a, a little bit of night code that we accept the user input and print it out. Instead of us to write what has been given to it. So the best we need to do is just head over here. Right, so put a bracket where we add a a dot, then an asterisk and close it. Right, so this should work. Then we cannot say high pressures to get this thing. There's the first one there. So what we do is what percent one. So that is percent one. As many there is another one there, it will be percent one and percent two. All right, the other side. So this is percentage one. So if I should go back there and run this. And I input my name is precious. All right, you can see we have an error. Why? Because the chart the converse. Yeah, this place right here. Sorry, the chart. We need to add the reflections. All right, so if I should save this, head back there. You see, I added in the reflex, I added chart, uh, I added them um, in the chart, I added reflections. Alright, you can see one if I input my name is precious. Right, you can see I precious. My name is Mark. Right, you can see I Mark. Well, that's, how you, that's what I'm saying. Right, so we built the first phase of our chat board. Now let's add another thing below. Something like alright, let's put percent. We send the anesthetic. Let's see. This is uh, I will like to visit this and this. All right. The next one to do is add comma, then reply. I too would like. To visit to visit percent one comma and uh, percent two. All right, I can see it now. So let's test this out. When I move back there, I'm good here. All right, let me check that. It's a uh, okay. I will like to visit Facebook and um, Google all right you see I too will, li will like to visit Facebook and Google so this is making it as making it amazing so let's let's have some basic something like uh, what is your name all right this should reply I am um, Jarvis. You know this is not Jarvis. This is just an explanation. Don't forget to add your comma here, All right? Comma. There we can put an um, a kind of all statement in this case, All right? So yeah. So before we do something like that, let's look at this. When I have something like a tuple with I, then this hello. Then this a, then this all. So what this means that it can accept anyone from this one I've written above, right? Then it will reply them with. It will reply them with a, right? You can see. So when I go back there. Oh sorry. When I go back there and run it, if I should put um put in. I you should be seeing the reply and so on and so forth. So if I put an I, you can see a a color. You can see we see have the same thing. All right. So next we need to do now. Let's just repeat random thing. We don't need to. We don't want it to repeat just one thing. All right. So 
we don't want it to repeat random number so random um take a simple text we don't need we need it to repeat random text so you see i've added a hola on whatsapp all right so if i should add back there and test this all right if i should test this and i put i you can see what's a what's up hello hola a Hey, so you can understand what I'm saying here. Yes. So I'm just gonna leave here. So let's just do a zoom. Let's do something like this. I love coding. Make sure this is in the top. We need to add two arguments. All right. I love coding or programming. All right. So comma. So comma. Yeah, this is. I also all right so see this so next thing we need to do is um let's add something lastly what should I do come on this this should be please like and subscribe all right so we are through the chat but let's test it test it from the beginning so I'm just gonna move this down a little bit so I can see. Then when I said with A, A, replied A. And I said, um, what is your name? Yeah, you can see I'm Javis. All right, my name is Precious. There, AI, yeah, I Precious. Oh uh, yeah, see, I love coding. I also all right i want to ask you ask you a question i want to learn how to code what should i do all right I want to learn how to code what should i do all right please like and subscribe all right i should like and subscribe to the channel to get more coding tutorial all right no problem i'm going to do that see you in the next tutorial don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye